guys, Mark Casey here from Tough Australia. We're here with our resident suspension expert, Mr. Steve Bottrell. We're going to talk about a GVM upgrade on a nice 300 series. Take it away, mate. Yeah, one of my favourites, this one. So, um, obviously, there's a lot of talk in the market, like in the in the market with GVMs, which GVMs to go for, why we choose particular GVMs. Basically, we use levels, and we use levels for one reason. So, essentially, you're getting great ride qualities. You're also getting, in this instance, prior to the vehicle being registered, is we're also doing the GCM upgrade on this one as well. So that's your gross carrying mass. Combination gross mass. Gross combination mass. Correct. And yep. then the GVM is your gross vehicle mass. That's right. So essentially, your combined mass is your vehicle and your towed apparatus all weighed together as one. So if we've got the van behind, we're going yep. on the trip, that's yep. your GCM. Correct. That's right, exactly. So there's three different options with the 300 series as well. Um, this one in particular has got the 4.2 ton upgrade in it. So again, that's a, you know, it's a big increase from standard. Um, but the problem is, and everyone knows with say the 200 and also the 300 series, is you only get 600 kilos of payload to use within a 300 series. Now, a lot of the times when people are bolting on accessories or they're towing caravans, they're adding the ball weight to the back of the car which can be essentially 200, 300 kilos, there's half of it gone before you've even gotten the car. So that's before why you put it's even important. in the car. Correct, that's right. So that's why we do this. Um, it, you know, a man, it's, well, it's essentially a mandatory thing to ensure that the vehicle's insured and everything's you know, fully compliant. Yeah. Compliance and insurance and safety and legality are part of it. Correct, that's exactly right. So again with this one, so a 4.2 upgrade on the 300 series, tyres have to be changed. Um, so we, you can see there we've upgraded it to the BF Goodrich all-terrain tyres. Um, same size as standard obviously, these have just got more of a load rating. So instead of having a 115, these ones have got a 122 load rating. Now the 4200 kit is my pick of them. Um, purely for you get an eight stage adjustable remote res canister. So you can see it in there. So you can essentially dial this shock absorber depending on what weight the vehicle's got. So it'll optimize your, your you know, your ride quality. Um, it gives you that comfort when you're, when you're driving unloaded and you can con dial the shock up and control the, the vehicle once the so weight's applied. Normally when I'm driving around on the bitumen and that, we're looking at a setting up one. Yes, correct. What about when you're going on, um, you know, on the gravel, on the corrugation. Yeah. So yeah, that. Where, where would you say you'd set it for for that? So you want to try and you you want to try. It depends on the weight. You want to dial that shock in that's going to control the, what the coil spring's doing over the yeah. bumps. So you want to slow that coil down. Yeah. Gives you a much nicer ride quality, but you don't want it too firm so that it you know it doesn't that, allow the oil to to flow through the valve. It will then essentially be riding on concrete bricks yeah. so to speak so that's why you know it's important when with a you know a, an adjustable shock absorber that, that you adjust it to the to the conditions because you might driving. think going on corrugation i'll wind it right up it'll that's be like right. on a pogo stick you'll be just boing boing <laughs> all the way that's right yeah exactly yeah we'll weld, weld the coils up <laughs> <laughs> different kits available Correct, Mark. So in a 300 series, there's three different options. So we've got a 3560 GVM upgrade. So again, that's sort of more of your comfort style. People not towing, you know, they just sort of want to get that little bit more, you know, if they're towing a horse float as, as we discussed. Um, basically, then you've got the 3800 kilo kit. So that's sort of the mid range. Um, yes. It just gives you the twin tube shocks on it. Yeah. And then here we are here with the 4200 kilo kit. So it's got the adjustable mono tube remote reservoir shock absorber. Yeah. So good thing with these two, again, you get, you know, you get a four year, uh, 100,000 kilometer warranty on this kit too. 100,000 so kilometer. That's just on the shocks. Yep. And on the coils is five year unlimited. Yeah. So unlimited kilometer warranty on the. On so that's the again Australian coil. Australian made coils. Yep. That's yeah. right. Yep. Definitely. We also did a safari snorkel on this. We've talked about that before. How important they are. Yes, correct. You know? We've done this one on this and vehicle. Again, Australian made. Yep. That's which is right. good by it Australian. Is. Fantastic. Good. So you can see, um, obviously, it's the levels give it that fifty mil lift as well. So yeah. you know, for people you know that are, that are doing a little bit of beach work or yeah. you know desert driving, whatever the case may be, just gives them that little bit more clearance and stops them you know hitting stuff underneath the car as yeah. well. You got more suspension travel as well. Correct. Yep, that's right. So you've got obviously not. So restricted. we can see, we can see it pretty a little bit better in the back here. Yeah, you're, correct. You're, you're, you're so, your motor so you'll notice the back seat's quite a weight this vehicle. Now there's a big reason for that. Number one, this vehicle's getting cut. 
Um, oh, so yeah. it's getting a chop, it's getting a tray, and it's getting you know the extension and all the rest yeah. of it. So quite a project. It is. It is. And again, there's no point in putting the incorrect spring rates in a vehicle that once the weight's applied to it, it sits down in the back end and yeah. it hasn't even added anything to it. So that's why we do it. We've complemented this one too with an airbag kit. So it's got the airbag manned high pressure kit oh, yeah. in, in inside the rear coil. So that actually assists the coil once the weight's applied to it. So perfect. You can see here again our, our adjustable uh, monotube shock absorbers. So monotubes, you, and you'll find monotubes are, are always, you know, majority of the time are always, you know, remote res. Yeah. So, and why they do that for is a monotube shock absorber as opposed to a twin tube shock absorber. Basically a shock absorber has got, you know, a, two, a twin skin. So like your factory shocks, aftermarket shocks, just entry level stuff yeah. are all twin tubes. So the problem is with the, you know, they ride soft, um, but the problem is, is once you start getting those shock absorbers working, they get quite hot. Yes. So a single skin shock, obviously more airflow going past it, keeps the oil cooler and yeah. stops it, and basically stops the oil and gas mixing. So. And then you've got your remote res to keep it cooler again. So your remote res, well, it gives you the adjustability in the yeah. mono tube. So that's that's one thing that's that's really really good, and it's nice and accessible too. So you can see it there, Easy. eight stage. Check it in. Yeah, eight stage as well. Oh, there we go. Everyone's a bit tight. So but. Steve, when we look at these GBMs, people might think it's a really complicated process. Oh my God, what will I do? It's going to be so expensive. Obviously, you want to do it before you register the vehicle. That tends to be a, a process that a lot of people adopt. Yes. So take us through the process that we do, and then what that person. You know, they have to do as an owner. Yeah, correct. So we do it, essentially doing it pre-registration saves the end user 1300 bucks yeah. um, on an engineering fees. Um, basically, it's it's cheaper to do it as you know as an SSM as opposed to a state compliance or second you know, stage manufacturer. Yeah. Yeah. So that's right, which is yeah, SSM, second stage mm -hmm. manufacturer. One of the things that also comes with that, so Lovells do all the testing, so they've got their own equipment and everything to do the job. So they actually test the GCM when they're doing the GVM. Yeah. So, and that's how that they've been able to do a GCM revision on a vehicle or, yeah. or an upgrade or whatever you, know, yeah. you want to call it. But one of the important things to, to do is, is a lot of GVM upgrades out there, and it doesn't matter what manufacturer you look at or use, they take the tow capacity, so like the weight of the, the, the vehicle can tow, and they put it into the vehicle. Yeah. So essentially what you do is you're upgrading the vehicle, but you're losing tow capacity. Yeah. And you know, for, for, for clients that have got, you know, three, three and a half ton vans. Like your caravan. Yeah, that's right. You're in trouble and, you, and you're towing more than you can. And you know, there's a lot How of- How much is yours way? So my van's three ton fully loaded. Yeah. So, yeah. So it gets a bit of quite heavy. Yeah, that's right. So, and again, without, if I didn't have this in my vehicle, I'd be overloaded. I'd be uninsured, you know, and if something goes wrong, I don't want that to yeah. be on me. There have been some sad instances where there's been fatalities and people have been charged with manslaughter. And, That's right. Yeah, exactly. Um, one down in New South Wales comes to mind, and yeah. that was a caravan overloaded. Yep. That's right. And one of the biggest things in the industry too is is people get told, oh, you can't do GCMs on vehicles. Well, you absolutely can, but you've got to do your research. So essentially, we do that with Lovells, and Lovells are the only ones at this given point that can do um, gross combination mass revisions. That's huge. It is. It absolutely is. And if you're towing, it is definitely a kit you need to be looking at. You need yeah. to be able to do but that. But it's not just your caravan. It's you've got your towing horses behind it with a gooseneck or whatever like that. You want to be making sure you've, you've got it done properly. And the, right. the transport departments are on top of this now. They're yep. weighing a lot more vehicles and they're conscious that it is a, a safety issue. Definitely. So yep. when we do it, if you want to take us through the process that we, we do in... Um, whether it's in Brisbane or Toowoomba, wherever we're doing a, a, yep. um, an upgrade for a client, you know, we, we're weighing it, we're documenting it all. You know, um, I know we're, we'll kill it. we don't want to kill too much time, but um, it's a pretty intricate process to make sure we're doing it right. We're measuring things, you know, information goes backwards and forwards to levels, it's registered, all that. Maybe just give us a quick summary. Yeah, that. definitely. So what we do essentially is we get, we, you know, a client will say, order a vehicle, they'll let us know they want to do that. No problem at all. We basically, once the vehicle's um, been manufactured, we need a photo of obviously the compliance plate. So yeah. that compliance plate gives us the information 
gives us the VIN number. Um, we obviously have the who the, the client's details. That's all uploaded into what they call an online system, so to speak. Yep. Now it's linked with um, Department of Infrastructure, TMR, RTA, like depending on what jurisdiction yep. it's done in, but it all links as a big group. So I bring basically I bring the car in. Yep. And we look after it, do all the paperwork, make yep. sure it's registered, do the weighing it before, weighing it afterwards, do your measurement, your Yep, that's right. Okay. We, we submit photos of sides, front, rear, like there's, there's, it, it's very, very intricate, but if it's done, and it's got to be done properly, like yeah. with anything like this, um, to be fully legal and compliant. Oh, you take photos done. as well? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And that's then right. you end up, you end up with a plate, a plate goes on it? Correct. So around the driver's side, uh, so here we are we're at the driver's side B pillar. So this is where the compliance, well, it's not really a compliance plate anymore. There's been a few changes run through. But anyway, we've got a vehicle plate here. So you can see the VIN number, you can see the stock number. We can see the production date of this vehicle was April, 2023. And then obviously it tells us what vehicle this is. So in this instance, it's a Land Cruiser 300. Down here, so where you can see where we've done the compliance on it, the VIN numbers obviously match up. So obviously there's no you know, there's no second ways around that. It, it has to be done, um, it has to match up. Basically, um, it gives us a tow capacity of three and a half tonne. It also gives us a little bit more information on this plate. It gives us the front axle capacity and the rear axle capacity. So you can see their front's been upgraded to 1800, rear's upgraded to 2400. Now, one of the big things that everyone sort of, that, that is up in arms about this is what we call the GCM here. Now you can see on this, S, on this second stage plate or vehicle type approval plate, the GCM on this vehicle now is 7,700 kilo. Ooh. So again, from 6,800 kilo, there's it's a big, big it's difference. A big, yeah, a big it's lift. a massive difference. So, um, so yeah, that's all done on the compliance of the vehicle. Thanks for listening to um, the technical information about your GVMs and GCMs and how you do it on your vehicle. It's very important to get the right advice and do it properly, and it makes a huge difference to how you can travel safely on the road. So if you ever need any help, just contact any of the team at Tough. We'd be glad to help you or another reputable supplier. So thanks guys, thanks for listening. Cheers.